Hey everyone, Busy Gamer Dad here. Just wanted to give you a little bit of reason why you're not hearing the traditional dad joke intro. So what you're seeing here is a series of clips that I put together after some gameplay offline where I ground and I actually wind up fighting the T-Rex after about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours of playtime off camera. And I finally actually did manage to get into an encounter with him and I did capture him as you see here. The next couple of clips that you'll see are also where I go back into the to Mirage Tower and the uh, Water Temple, Water Shrine to get Andy his level 8 spells as a blue mage. And you'll also see us do a wrap up of a fight where we get Rion his 1000 points of damage in one combat. It was a little bit arduous to get all these done and I didn't want to subject you guys to that. Uh, simply because I know that you're busy, I'm busy, and I did want to do them just for the content, and I did want to show you that I had done them. So when we actually hit the uh, full video proper, we'll have a full dad joke intro, and I'll explain more about the comeuppance and the details about these wonderful events that led to being able to get these spells and to get these abilities and to wrap up and get their class quests done. Hopefully you like this just quiet narration, and we'll catch you in the main video. Bye.
What kind of underwear do clouds wear? Thunderwear. Hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again, continuing our Final Fantasy Renaissance playthrough. I have some exciting and crazy news for you. I cannot be more happy about what has transpired. So during my D&D uh, campaign, when we had some downtime, uh, I played D&D through Discord, I was able to play a little bit of the game, and I know, I'm sorry if any of my D&D group sees this, they're going to be like, what are you talking about? Well, you were playing the game. I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be doing that. And it's very um, against etiquette. But the exciting news that I have for you guys is, uh, you ready for this? You ready for this? Bam. At the beginning of this video, you will see an intro of me fighting and getting Inferno and Nuclear from the Warmech and the Hades boss. Inferno, I got through... Um, the Water Shrine, he's a secret boss in uh, the Sunken Shrine. I just walked around outside the front of um, the Kraken's place, and I had, uh, uh, believe it or not, I had Fluffy out in front, and I got uh, that encounter to happen after about 30 minutes or 40 minutes of just walking around taking random fights. And uh, for Warmech, and it was actually really fast to get Warmech, and I actually died once to it as well. So it was kind of funny because he opened salvoed on Busy with like just a thunder punch to the face and took half his health. And then when he did nuclear, I couldn't recover. Um, but no, I actually got those two spells and I was super excited about it. And I also, at the beginning of this video, will show you that I did Rion's side quest where I took a thousand damage in a single fight. And this is probably the one that I'm most excited about. Bam right there. It took, I want to say, an hour and a half during my D&D &D campaign of me just taking fights in the desert. And that's why I did it, because it was just like low-key, not talking, you know, doing, you know, pausing the game when I needed to interact with the party and do the things. But I got him. I got the T-Rex fight. And this whole episode, we are going to go through and we are going to turn in everyone's side quests and we're going to start the descent into the uh, final shrine. I am super excited. I am super, super, super excited, and I hope you guys are too. All right, so first and foremost, the big one, we'll get that out of the way. What? You actually did it? You caught a T-Rex? Look, I'll hold up my end of the bargain. Just get that thing out of here. All right, so what these pellets do, I am not entirely sure. I have no idea how to activate them in any way, shape, or form. Uh... I'm assuming that there's an item that we buy or something. I don't know. 
I have no clue. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's done. We got the thing. Um, all right, well, we did it. Hooray, us. Uh, cool. Let me see what he says now, actually. Don't forget to visit the item shops all around the world to buy some pet food. Gotcha. Okay, good. That's awesome. They put the explainer in there because I didn't know what to do. All right, so let's get ourselves some pet food because we are... Well, I don't know if I'll be able to afford it. I mean, I'm, I am a little bit strapped for cash right now. Almost a million. Pet D. Pet food that increases a captured monster's defense. Oh. Cannot be used in battle. Oh, so if different item shops have different ones? I'm only gonna buy like 25, because we're at the end of the game. Not a, not a, not a thing. Uh, wait, was there anything else in there? There wasn't anything else, was there? No, there wasn't. There wasn't anything else. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll have to go check out the other item shops and see if there's, like, you know, uh, attack ones. Because defense is fine, but, you know, we want the attack. We want the, we the T-Rex. The T-Rex is all about just visceral damage. All right, now we're going to scoot on over here, and we're going to get ourselves uh, Rion's ability. And that will be super exciting, because then he'll have another trait that he can bring. Uh, let's swap this around. Like that. I am not going to get rid of the T-Rex. I think that's um, probably uh, going to be with us, and I, I would... I toyed around, and I think I made the comment that I would love to get, like, an imp and bring it into the chaos fight. Um, honestly, I don't know. Uh, I probably can't bring the T-Rex in the chaos fight simply because it's a, uh, it's like a four-square monster, four-tile monster, and chaos being as big as he is, is going to take up the whole screen, so I might need to find an alternative in the, uh, the final shrine and bring it something i don't know but most of the really cool monsters like anklio or um any of the others are uh probably going to be um unable to to join us simply because there's a uh what do i have as reserve oh i did take that um the uh they're they're just too big we can't bring them into the the same thing and we, the tigers ran away from us <laughs> that's hilarious oh that's funny yeah, so we're definitely way over leveled. Um, I, uh, I I did it on a whim. I just wanted to see if it would happen. And honestly, that T-Rex fight, uh, somebody made a comment in the Discord and also put a comment uh, on the videos. Like, yeah, it's a it's pretty hellacious just because you have to. It's random. It's RNG. You're at the mercy of it. And so now I'm going into the final dungeon, being pretty overpowered. I'll simply say. What? What? You actually managed to survive over a thousand points of damage? How? Obtain the job trait misery. All right, cool. So I don't know what that means, but we'll take a look in a moment. I want to see. There's there is an item shop here, right up here. That I want to check out and see if there's any different foods. There are pet attack. Awesome. That's what we want. And I will buy ninety-nine of them. Why not? Why not? I mean, it's not like I need the money anymore. Cool. Oh, awesome. So what is... What does that do? What is the skill... Misery. This character's melee damage increases proportionately with how low their current HP is. That would have been great during the War Mech fight. Ah. Uh, <laughs> would have been huge, because he was the only one alive uh, during the War Mech fight. So I'm going to save it. Um, yeah, he was the only one alive, and he was... Uh, I think, actually, no, both times, um, Fluffy was the last one standing. Maybe Rion was in the first one where we died. So, yeah, that would have been nice to have. Um, if you didn't know, Warmech, you cannot use the, um, lifesteal. Uh, so I wasted a turn of swings on trying to drain life from Warmech. Didn't think it would work. Uh, I have verified it does not work. So, yeah, at the very beginning of... The first encounter with Warmech, though, he just punched Busy right in the gut for, like, half his health, if not more. Um, and then when I did nuclear, I just couldn't uh, recover from the damage because Busy went down. Um, and then as, like, we'll say poetic justice, <laughs> Busy got um, got destroyed at the end of the fight. Um, 
Yeah, Warmech is still no joke. Even at the level I was at, 37 was, I believe, when I got him. And Busy didn't survive. It just, it didn't happen. Uh, I didn't even bother trying to control him or doing anything like that. I'm fairly certain, being the, uh, the hidden boss that he is, you wouldn't be able to. So, don't, don't waste your time doing that. Now, the last thing we're gonna do here is go get our Super Bell, question mark is what I'll call it, Super Bell, uh, for Busy. Um, because in TMF's tower, we got the last two bells. Um, in our last video, our last full video, I talked about how I had a, uh, a problem with the game locking up, and then I realized there was a new version that I didn't have. Don't do it. I thought it was going to go the way that I didn't want it to go. All right, now, actually, we'll check this one out. See what this one's about. C. What is C? Hit count? That's huge! That is way better than attack! Oh my goodness! I, I, I mean, I'm just gonna buy them. I'll buy 99 of them. I don't care. I got money for days. That is ridiculously... That is way more value than, um... Alright, Geomancer, come. Have across the... You're a Geomancer. You have to collect all the bells if you want. Oh, I see you have acquired the water bell. This would make a wonderful addition. Yes, I'll do that. Oh, ho, ho, thank you. Please bring me any more elemental bells that you find. There should be six in all. I'll even throw in a special reward. So if you give me all six, I have the other one. Geomancer bells in your travels. Do you have any trade any to me? Oh, I see you have the wind bell. Yes. Oh, thank you. Should be all six. That should be all six. Is it not? There. Oh, I didn't... Okay, I, I think I... Yes, what's this? Why? That's the last bell. Very well. A promise is a promise. Now, what do I get for this? The blessed bell. Okay. What to do with the blessed bell? No. Rion, that's mine. No. It's mine. Uh. A handy bell that enhances geomancy. Okay. Nice. So that's like the universal one. Now take care, it's one of a kind. Cool, awesome! So, that's neat, nifty, neato. All right, what does that mean though? I don't know what that means. Uh, do I have, let me see here, skills. Limits are only available after completing a certain quest. Oh, so I got that now. Okay, good, I had seen people doing this and so I have access to it now. Nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, cool. So we are going to do our final uh, descent down into the uh, the Temple of Fiends, where we got to go, the, the final place. Um, I think, I, I just for argument's sake, I want to see what's inside this shop here. Maybe there's something really awesome inside here. Hit count, H, health, max health by 100%, cannot be used in combat. So can you only use for one battle? So, that's nice. I mean, I'm only gonna buy like 20 of them, 25 of them. The hit count one is definitely, like, can you stack them? I would think you can't. And that's, that's fair, because then your monster gets ridiculously overcharged. But that hit count one was pretty, pretty awesome, actually. Uh, and it makes sense uh, to be a thousand bucks for, for it. All right, so, all right, here we go. All right. The four orbs now cover the black orb. To take a step forward is to go back 2,000 years in time. Here we go. This is gonna be pretty awesome. I think I have to do this in one sitting. I don't think I can go back. So, yeah, let's let's see here. Worms. So I'll show you guys the, the, the um, this. Let's see, do, do I want reserve? I can't use reserves because I'm already on the terrain. Oh, 
it's a double whammy, so I shouldn't have... Alright, so I've just kind of limited Busy's effectiveness by half. Great on me. So I'm actually going to take a step outside real quick. Two crits, nice. Awesome. Yeah, okay, I haven't fought a worm before. Or at least not since the uh, the last update. So let me... So can I step back? I cannot step back. Alright, great, awesome. Good stuff. Alright, so Busy is now half as powerful as I thought he would be. That's no problem whatsoever. I'm not upset by that in any way, shape, or form. Not at all. Not at all. Alright, uh, this is nothing. This isn't anything for me. I wonder if I walk on that. Oh, Earth Elementals. I can control you. So I might as well. Uh, we'll have you control that one. And then, you don't have any skills. So, um, on the forums, a lot of people are lamenting. The last spell for your Blue Mage is a spell called Toxic. And it's very hard to get. It's also part of an RNG uh, table from a monster. And truth be told, I can't remember if it happened or not, but I think I actually fought that monster and didn't realize that it had that spell. So, darn it, is all I'm going to simply say. Um, but the spell isn't really overly useful. It's uh, pretty potent poison damage, but it's not, like, super useful. Uh, because on um, on Chaos, the last boss, I'm going to probably be casting more like Inferno or maybe even just Nuclear over and over again on the guy, um, just to do the damage I need to do. Bonus experience, yeah, and you level up, nice, solid level up, yeah, nice. So I wonder if this is nope, can't go back. All right, cool. I was just curious. All right, so yep, can't go that way. I don't think there's going to be anything... Oh, chance to strike first. And that's perfectly fine with me. I will control. Actually, this is a good acid test. Can I call the monster? I don't think I'll be able to. Uh, skill, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do... Mm, yeah, I'll do cremate. And then... Magic, I will do close in. So, looking forward to... Um, now, there is an achievement... Sorry, uh, changing gears real quick before I go on that topic. There is an achievement to bypass Lich and fight Lich out of order, uh, or refight Lich in out of order. Um, I don't know if that pertains to only to, like, when you first fight them or in here. I don't think I can bypass the Lich in here, so I will be trying to do that. Oh, maybe I can bring the T-Rex into the Chaos fight. That would be super if I could. That would honestly be really super. I'll have to wait and see. I'm not going to dismiss him then. I'm not going to dismiss him. We'll see if we can bring the T-Rex in. Because giving him like 1200 health and just having that extra, essentially, meat shield in front would be kind of useful. Um, if it doesn't stack or if those don't stack. We'll do a little bit of science here in a little bit. Um, but uh, if I... Do I want to keep doing cremate? Yeah, I'll do cremate. Um... If I focus on keeping him, that'd be fine, I think, because the benefit of that is uh, either 1,200 uh, meat shield, meat slab in front of my team, or if I do the hit one and they don't stack, just to, you know, after we do a little bit of science, next, uh, after this fight, I'll drop, uh, like, a, a hit one and a HP one and call the, call the T-Rex and see if they happen to stack. Um, then if it, I know it's just a single one, then, uh, oh, I should do that now. What am I talking about? Uh, 100% attack. Let's do... Let's do... Who will... Who's monster will eat? Oh, okay, see. Okay. And then... I did that one. That was the hit one. So let's do the HP one. Nope, so it's full. Okay, so you were only allowed one. That's, uh, that's good balancing. That's disappointing from the OP side of things. So if I do this, I want to catch, I want to control, call beast. I just want to see if I can get a hit off with this thing, just to see how powerful it would be. So, ah, Blizzard is still super painful for Fluffy. He does not have good magic resist.
I think I might be... Oh no, I guess I'm not. Busy can recharge his spells, and I'm just attacking with Andy right now. Almost a grand. Nice. Hit the T-Rex, it's right in front of you, you jerk. Oh no, actually I want to see how much damage it does. Uh... Drink? Question mark? No, I don't want to do that. I want you to do that. And I want you to attack, and I want you to do that, and I want you to, I guess, do terrain, because that would help. If you recharge your spells. Yeah, fortunately I'm good. So, I think from a... Oh good, spells did recharge. I think from a meta progression, or meta knowledge kind of thing. 551 damage, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, the food for the T-Rex wore off. So it's nice it gives you that message. I think from a, a meta knowledge or redoing this, if I had the opportunity to redo it, I would bring either the forest reserve for Busy, or I would bring probably uh, the space one, because uh, that would really help with everyone's magic damage, and it's a good AoE amount of damage. Uh, first strike, okay, Jimeras Gimer and Chimeras. Drop a monster that I don't need to right now, and I will have you attack, and I will have you train. Think we'll finish him off? Yeah, nice, cool. Yeah. This is actually good that we're fighting old monsters because it'll flesh out the uh, bestiary that I uh, don't have fleshed out right now. Because that became active um, in a, a later update. The more I've played through this game, the more I've come to appreciate Fluffy's control ability. The simple fact that he... Oh wow, 775. That was like a 28 point level up. Holy crap, that was a lot. 602, that's 15, that's not terrible. Or no, that was that was 12. Jeez. Oh, Alright, so let's get ourselves down and around. There's no items up in here, I don't think. So we'll just, uh, blitz. Oh no, bad men! They're bad men! We need to stop them. Uh, we can't control them, so in this situation, I will call the beast. And then from you, I would like to see... One foe... Flash heat. I don't think they're susceptible! But we'll do AoE damage to them, just in case. They do hit quite a bit hard. They are susceptible to darkness, though. Bad men are susceptible to darkness, which is interesting, because they look like Batman. But they're not. They're not the knight. I don't want to burn through all my spells. I didn't expect this to... I should be using his Fire 2 staff. That probably will work a lot better. Um, one thing I can do with Fluffy is... Uh, who, do I ha who has the Bane Sword? I think the Bane Sword would be a really good addition. Maybe I'll put that on Rion. I know he's a good focus fire can- Oh, there it is! 1,000 damage! 1,104. Having Rion be able to... Do you have the Bane Sword? You do. Use it. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, keep on doing that. Yeah, keep on doing that. So this video... Oh, Chasm! Oh, that's nice. That's an AoE death, I think. Nope. Okay, just damage, which is good. Which is fine by me. Nice. And the spells recharged. That's so much money that we do not need. Uh, busy gains 7 HP. That's fine. Well, that's a pretty well-rounded level up. Alright, and... So what I'm gonna do here... Is I'm gonna top everybody off... I cannot believe he has so much HP. Let's do... Health. If you had multiple... Phantom. If you had multiple Beast Tamers, which I've seen people run, uh, you could probably... Um, really 
interestingly diversify the monsters you have, and calling them would be very interesting. Yeah, one shots the thing. Oh my Lanta. Yeah, that was that was supposed to be a boss, by the way. Yeah, don't need that. Like if I fight, that's a monster tile. Don't need that either. There is a stone plate on the floor. You sense something evil. But how do I open it? So actually, I want to see something real quick. Oh, I can't go that way. Darn. I thought that was a teleporter. So, it took me a while as a kid to figure this out. You needed the loot. You needed the loot. All this time, you needed the loot. And that's supposed to be some world building mechanics for it. So, just so you know, you needed the loot to, to, to break the, the seal um, on the, the evil staircase. So, there you go. That's just the, the meta thing for you. Uh, let's do the fire hammer. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do let's just do instant death. Might as well do instant death. And then you just keep on casting terrain, get those spells back up. Yeah, I think I should have brought maybe the forest one in because that has AoE healing in it. Um, maybe the marsh one? The marsh one does also have uh, remove status effects with heals. So, potentially that was the better choice or better play. Uh, in there. I would like to get us some monster dead. Uh, I don't think... I don't think this will work on them, because they are undead. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Someone yelled at me about this before, and I should be doing that. And then I'll do that. There we are. Nice. This is like the perfect setup for such a thing. Yup, perfect setup for such a thing. Oh, they paralyzed. I didn't realize they did that. Hmm. Yeah, just keep on hitting him. That's fine by me. Got one of them. Maybe another? Yep, well, I think we'll finish him off. Nice. I'll have to start using blood weapon. If I can. Charge some spells, good stuff. Okay, no, nothing there. Alright, so then we're gonna go back around this way, and then it's the left corner, I believe. Uh, there, we will have you control here. If this episode goes a little bit longer, please forgive me. I want to get Lich out of the way, simply so that we can do the other three, and then Chaos in our next episode. So hopefully you're here for it. Um, I don't want to make this too, too long, but I do want to get uh, get this series wrapped up so we can go either New Game Plus or move on to other things, because I unfortunately am a busy gamer, just like you guys are, and I thank you very much for stopping by, but I understand fully that, you know, this series has, I don't want to say run its course, but is definitely something that is, um, I don't say waning, what's the word I was looking for, and completing, you know, completing this series is my focus, because it deserves to be completed, and you guys coming along with the ride for the ride is much appreciated. There we are. There. There's my ramblings about that. Nice. And then we get a little bit of bonus experience. The T-Rex food wore off. T-Rex didn't have any food. Oh, no. He did. I just didn't call it. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, well, let's keep on feeding him the hit count in case I do. And then I'll keep on healing you all. We don't have a mechanism for that, and I don't want to keep on burning through my resources, but I might have to. Alright, so then we're gonna sprint over here. Two worms! Oh no! Whatever shall I do? Whatever ever shall I do? So yeah, this episode's probably gonna be about 35 minutes, um, at least, because uh, it's gonna take us a little bit longer to get through. Because of the intro, you'll see the, the fast uh, bits. Oh wow, so yeah, you have to feed him every single time? That's just awful. But all good. That's why I bought 99 of the things. Because if we get into 99 battles down here, I will have failed. If I run away, does it work like that? Let's... I don't think this is a good fight to try it, because I don't want these guys to kill me. But if I find a good fight to run away, I'll try it. 
Nice. Chasm is an instant death spell. Did not realize that. It has the option for death. It can choose to die and kill you. Right, I'm gonna start casting blood weapon on him. All right, now the long haul up and around. Yeah. I hated this part as a kid. This was just, it was longevity for longevity's sake. Uh, oh, this is, I did do the food on him and it didn't wear off at the end of that fight, did it? I don't think so. Uh, you know what? Let's just fight it then. Because I didn't actually cast it again, unfortunately. Um, we'll have you do Bane and you do that. Good stuff. Nice. So they only have about 113 health. Good. And paralyzed. I thought that would have turned him to stone. Dead? Poison smoke. Dead. Okay, cool. And then zipping around. Earth elementals. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's always one and done, which is interesting to me. Um, I would like to know the timer on it if I do summon him and if I don't. Like, if I summon him, I'm certain that it would wear off instantaneously. But it looks like you get three fights if you don't use it. Which would be very convenient and also very nice. Uh, Closing does darkness. Okay, cool, that makes sense. Then control, then we get uh, bonus experience. A lot. Yep, okay, so it looks like you get three fights if you don't summon them. And it looks like you get, um... Looks like you get one if you do. That's actually really generous. That's not a bad system. I approve of that system. All right, so let's get Lich down for our group here. Just in case he does an opening salvo of pain and suffering, I want to make sure that everybody is somewhere in the you know, high percentiles. And T-Rex has the hit count, so this will be a good acid test if I can summon him. Uh, I'm going to do blood weapon. No, wait, no, I'm not. This is Lich. I can't do anything like that. I can't do anything like that, because he's undead. So, let me do... Um, select specific spell boost its output. So, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do cremate? Let's do blaze. Let's do blaze. This guy's going to go down so, so fast. Yup. <laughs> just like that, just dead. Like, just a sack of potatoes. All right, cool. So, Busy Gamer Dad in the final episode coming up, hopefully to catch you guys there. I am really excited that we were able to get those other things done. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. We'll see you in the next episode where we wrap this Final Fantasy Renaissance playthrough up. Later.